Yes, we're back. We're back again in Train Sim. We're back again to do a line that looks like I've only done one route on. Uh, Chatham, Main and Medway Valley lines. Um, we're going to tackle uh, this one here. Um, the Class 465 next Networker. Uh, your Class 465 been prepared is now ready for service. Now that you're at the controls, uh, you've been charged of a passenger service from uh, Gillingham in Kent to London Cannon Street, only as far as Gravesend. Okie dokie. Uh, so yes, um, st literally jumped in, looked at the very top line that I've got in uh, Train Sim, and thought, ah, oh, I haven't done that one. So let's do it. Grab that guidebook to Kent in Train Sim. Quite a blunt title. And let's go. So yes, hi there, Steve here. Welcome to Train Sim. And uh, yes, as I record this, uh, the sale is on. Um, but obviously, as you see this, it's uh, finished. Um, heading towards Christmas as this video goes out. Uh, going out on the 17th of December. So yes, as this goes live, uh, not long to go now. Um, let me just double check that. Yes, 17th of December, so a week and a day until Christmas as this goes live. Uh, plenty of content coming up from me over the Christmas period. A few really long streams, including the possibility of taking a pacer from London to Penzance. Yeah, watch out for that one. It will be ending up on uh, on YouTube. So yes, yeah, going to do a series of challenges over Christmas, uh, taking the wrong transport on a long journey. So uh, taking a pacer uh, from London to Penzance or Penzance to London uh, in train sim, uh, taking a Cessna 172 on like a five hour flight uh, in flight sim, um, taking uh, the BB40 um, on a trip uh, from the north to the south of the map uh, in um, firm bus, you know, the wrong vehicle basically. Uh, good morning drivers, class 465 is ready to take uh, to the rails. It's almost time to depart on this passenger service from Gillingham, Gillingham in Kent, to London Cannon Street only going as far as Gravesend. Please allow passengers to board before departing. Okay, so open the doors. Let's go outside and do the... Okay, screenshot. So yes, I'm start going, going to go through a few of the uh, routes that I haven't done. Um, this being one of them. Okay, let's jump back inside then and get it set up. Um, control rise, I was trying to tip my headphones on the track eye a little bit forward. So at least we can actually see what's going on down here. At least you've got a window going out, that's something. Wait for passengers aboard, so we're going um, Gillingham, Chatham, uh, Rochester, uh, Strood, Higham and Gravesend. So a few stops actually. Right, timeless bonus is all good. The game volume up a little tiny bit. And already uh, speeding within meters of leaving. Uh, the station. So again, this is a stock train. Some of the stock stuff, not that great. But blimey, it's a long train. The back's only just leaving the station. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one then. Oh, we've got a view inside. It's louder inside. Right, we've got a 60. We've got Chatham coming up in 1.4 miles. We don't want to be going that fast, really, do we? Well, we got a bit of speed up now. Into the tunnel. So, Jewett Chatham at 6.41. Our ETA is 6.41. So, that's uh, half the battle. We'll slow down. So we've got his 50 coming up. A 
and then we got a 30. So yes, look out for the, for the Christmas um, videos. I'm sort of looking forward to doing a really long journey in that pater. Uh, it's going to be arduous because it's a trip that takes a while in a HST. So doing it in a pacer is going to be, uh, it's got, think poor thing is going to be flat out. And we're going to be behind schedule and everything, but uh, it's going to be good fun. So yes, taking the little BB40 as well in Fernbus uh, from the north east of the map down to the southwest of France. Um, that's going to be interesting. I want to take a little Cessna 172 on a really long flight. You know, push it to its limit as far as uh, range is concerned. And uh, see what we can do uh, with that one. Uh, and then uh, do something in uh, Euro truck as well uh, in the form of a you know really long journey with a very underpowered truck and a really heavy load see what we can do there so uh, yeah a few um, challenging um, streams going to come up over the Christmas period uh, which uh, they will end up on YouTube so uh, hopefully uh, be able to sit back relax and watch some uh, fun unfurl Obviously, if you're watching this after Christmas, or at some point in the future, I hope your Christmas or Christmases have been uh, enjoyable, pleasurable, relaxing. And if you have family to spend time with, hopefully you spent time with them. If you haven't, then hopefully you've uh, been doing stuff that you've uh, enjoyed and uh, maybe watching my content has helped you get through. So we'll call it a stop there, I think. I haven't put the lights on either. Someone's going to moan about that. There we go. Right, doors open. So Chatham has been achieved. Back inside, ready to depart again. Timeless bonus, that's unusual for me. Doors are closed. So I should have stopped up here, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, there'll be some comments. At least I know where I should have stopped. through the tunnel and Rochester coming up down here so all these uh, fairly close together which is why the scenario itself I don't think was very long in fact really going as far as Gravesend as well yeah definitely sticking to the UK I think for my train sim uh, videos got plenty of maps plenty of content um, I'm liking the U UK stuff mainly because I can uh, recognize where I am which is of course half the uh, the battle and I'm sort of getting used to the signaling system sort of so I'm guessing this is the old Rochester station so I was about to stop at it <laughs> They built a new one just a little bit further down the tracks. So I slowed down way too early for that. Yeah, it's being a stock train, very quiet. And then we come. If I can muck up this stop as well, then. Oh, 
I didn't check actually to see at the last one whether the whole train got on the platform. I don't think it probably did if I was that short. All the way down. I should have probably pulled a little bit more forward than that. Yeah, the whole train got on with these. So that's two stops down. Three to go. Definitely close uh, and short scenario, this one. Come on then, people, get on the train. Rochester, obviously they've built a new station then, haven't they, by the looks of things. The old one's just down the tracks back there. They built a brand new one. Great if you've got the room to do it. Timeless bonus again. What's going on? I'm sure I'm going to fail at some point along here. Right, Strood, 0.73 of a mile. Well, they'll obviously move this, this station a bit closer. They've got a nice multi-story car park over there as well, servicing the station. We're down to a 20 and then a 15. All the slowness. No, don't slow down to 15 before I get to 20, do I? Right, we're going to change tracks then. So around here. Hence the 20, I think. It's quite a tight turn. And then down to the 15. Into Strood. Quite a steep little uh, drop down there as well. Keep an eye on that speed. Oh, this is busy. Ooh, only just slowed that down. Okay, I'm guessing the platform's missing. <laughs> we seem to have a bit of a platform issue. In the... Well, there isn't one. I was thinking, why were those people stood in... Oh, this is the platform. Oops. <laughs> Bit of a broken scenario there, then, I think. Definitely a long old train. How many cars we are. Eight, twelve, quite a few. <laughs> Come on, man, let's get the people on them off the train. How long do you need? Any time you like. I 
This must be a subway, because uh, they're getting the uh, subway or something, or bridge back there, was it? I didn't see a bridge coming in. Are they getting on and off the... Well, it's busy. Another train coming in down here. That one's only just left. Am I going to get held? Oh, no, I got a green. No, we're all good. Another time in this bonus. Wow. Doors are shut. Hi'em. In uh, two miles. Practically long distance now. We're still going slightly downhill, so I've got to be careful of the uh, speed. Once the whole train's through, we'll then get the increased speed limit, which is up to 70. Woohoo! There we go. And 2.3 miles. It does accelerate, okay. So we come out of this tunnel and go into another tunnel straight away. Oh. Acceleration slowing down slightly. Point three miles to go. That was a bing. Get out of one tunnel and into another one. Hey, not a bad little route this. Honestly, I'm not, not sort of disappointed with the train, but it's alright. Again, having watched my videos, you'll know that I like loud. I like noise. I want to hear what's going on. Right, slow ourselves down. A bit too early because you know me so we were doing at nine uh, 654 and 25 our ETA 65402 actually gonna be early I know I know I, I know just because it's nearly Christmas stop all the way at the end. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. That's not bad. We arrived early. Definitely liking the early.
Oh, and we are off. Doors shut. Another timeless bonus. Right, Graves End. In four miles. Yikes. Wow, this thing definitely gets a move on. So, a final stop then, is it? Uh, yes, Gravesend. So far, 823 points. Can we get a high score? Is it going to be a thing? I reckon we're going to get some yellow lights or something along here, because there's a lot of signals coming up down here. But there's no way we're going to get a smooth run. It ain't going to happen, because it's me. Oh, we haven't done a whistly thing. That was a noise. No, oh, we're doing good. Three miles to go. More greens. We like greens. Ping. I'm expecting, I've got a finger poised over the brake or the throttle control lever thing. Um, expecting a yellow. We might be lucky. been a while since I've scored well points basically <laughs> normally I end up in a minus so it'd be handy if uh, we do have a good run for this one so we're during at Gravesend at 7.02 our ETA is 7 o'clock so we can't afford to uh, bring a little bit of time off well, we've got a 50 coming up then a 30 we're less than two miles now from the station, so expected, well, having to slow down, probably a bit of a bonus, because otherwise it'll end in disaster. Okay. So that's warning me in a speed limit change, I'm guessing. So we'll start to slow it down. Down to 50, then down to 30. Right. Yeah, double yellows. So I'm going to bring it all the way down. Yep, single yellow. All right, how many times you got to warn me? So the next one's next one could be a red. I'm guessing that's the one at the end of the platform anyway. As we make our way into Gravesend. As we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more trains in for me. It is returning to a weekly slot on a um, Tuesday in the new in the new year. 
uh, as well as content from Omzi on a Monday, uh, Fernbus on a Friday, and some other stuff as well. Uh, check out the uh, Discord server as well, an awesome community over there on Discord, with a few train buffs. So uh, check that out if you want to join a fantastic community. And we got no platform here at Gravesend. Uh, then uh, the link will be in the description below. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's our red down there. Floating. Well, the red's not floating in the air. The rest of the platform is. So a slightly broken scenario, this one, it seems. I did have a scenery warning, but I thought that was just for wagons at the beginning. Didn't realise it was for uh, some of the content. Hey! Didn't detract from it being uh, actually quite a nice fruit. And the train fitted on as well. Not that I can see the platform. And we were early, so it's going to slow us down on finishing the route, which I don't know why, if it knows that this is the end of the route, why have you got to go through this and wait for passengers to board? The driver wouldn't sit there and wait, would he? He wouldn't go, well, that's it, the passengers are boarding now. I've got to, I don't hand over. Um, the time they hand over, I'm guessing, is the time that the passengers are boarding. So in theory, he should be getting out now. Come on in, people of Gravesend, get on and off the train. Ladies and gentlemen, please depart the train here because the driver wants to go home. Nicely done, driver. Scenario complete. 990 points. That's not bad. Oh, 10 behind Larwood. Oh, it's because I got... Um, where did I lose the points then? Speeding. Damn it. Yeah, right at the beginning. Oh, I'm doing a thousand then. Not happy. Right. Uh, yes, we'll end that there then. So, yeah, plenty more routes that I've got in the UK that we'll try some stuff on. Some shorter ones like this, uh, some longer ones. And, yeah, do please look out for that stream coming up over Christmas. Uh, check out the Discord server where I put links to when I'm streaming stuff. Uh, that's going to be a fun journey. Uh, London to Penzance in a pacer. Yeah, why not indeed. Uh, I'll leave that there then. Until the next time, if you have been. Thanks very, very much for watching. <laughs>